Dateline, King City, a city devoted to the glory of God, but in her dark underbelly, there are villains gathering, evil men who seek to steal God's glory. Will King City find her hero? Can she be saved and restored to her former glory? For the answer to these questions and more, tune in every week to the King City Chronicles. Hey guys, Kingdom Crusader here. A lot has happened since last week. We helped build a wall around King City, but the Obliterator and his army of bad guys blasted a hole through it. So we had to fight off the bad guys and rebuild the wall all at the same time. It's been a crazy week, but someone has to protect King City's citizens from the bad guys that would do them harm. After all, that's what a superhero does. We got a call earlier this morning saying that the obliterator is trying to blast another hole through the wall. So a scripture guy called in the police station and the National Guard to help reinforce it. But I'm stuck here holding down the fort. I wish I was out there bravely battling bad guys. All this waiting around is driving me crazy. Maybe I should focus on the word of God to help me with my worries. I'll get at the Bible right now. <laughs> Here we are, the book of Esther. Now, did you guys know that Esther was a very brave, beautiful young girl who, was a, who didn't know that God was about to call on her for a very important job? You know that God can call on anyone, no matter how young or small, as long as you're willing to answer his call. Hey, I've got an idea. Why don't we act this one out? I need a brave young girl to play Esther. Hmm. All right, you right there. All right, you come up here. Yeah, you with the flower on your head. You look so beautiful. All right, Esther, you're going to stand right here for me, if that's all right. You all right? Oh, yeah, you made it up. All right, now I need a boy to play King Xerxes. All right, you right there, sir. You'll play King Xerxes. All right, watch your step. You got it? All right, now you stand right here. And now I need someone to play a really good bad guy. Hmm. Ooh, let's have you right here. All right. All right, now walk on up, and you're going to stand right here. All right. Here we go. All right, you stand right there. All right. Esther, you are going to need this shawl. Beautiful. Like you, yes, you get the crown because you are the king. Oh, yes, wrap it around. I got you. So beautiful. Very nice. And you're the bad guy. So you have this and your mustache. All right. Now let's get to the story. All right, y'all stay in place for me if you can. All right. Now Esther, all right, everyone. Esther lived in a time when King Xerxes was searching for a wife. He was having a sort of beauty contest to find the most beautiful girl in the land. Esther's uncle, Mordecai, oh, I'll play him, he told Esther to go and let the king see her beauty. Now, as the king of Persia, King Xerxes would not have believed in God. Mordecai warned Esther not to tell the king she was one of God's people. Now, King Xerxes fell in love with Esther and married her right away. Now, that's, that's sort of a love story. Now, all the girls say, aww. Now, all the boys say, yak. Yeah. Ah, don't worry. There's plenty of action and adventure on the way. All right, what's next? All right. One of the king's advisors was a man named Haman, and that's you. Now, give us your best evil laugh. <laughs> Excellent. Ha, ha, ha. Wonderful. Now, Haman... <laughs> Haman hated Mordecai, that's me, for not bowing down to him. So Haman tricked King Xerxes into passing a law that said God's people would be put to death. Now everyone say, whoa! whoa. Right? I know, right? All right, now Uncle Mordecai paid a visit to the new Queen Esther. Now he asked her to ask the king to save God's people. Esther reminded him that if anyone went to the king without permission, they might be sentenced to death. Still, Mordecai knew that God's people would die unless she risked her life and went to the king. Now, here's what the Bible says that he said. Who knows but that you have come to a royal position for such a time as this. Oh, what happened to your shawl? You look so pretty. Uh, now, Esther, had a, you had a very important decision to make. If she was brave and went to the king, there would be a chance that she would be punished with death. That was a very hard decision. But Esther was very brave and a godly young lady. Now, what do you think she did? Do you think she did the right thing? She, you're right. She did do the right thing. She went to the king. Now, 
Um, now, she asked him to save her people, and in the end, that's just what he did. First, he punished Haman for trying to put the God's people to death, and he ordered Haman to be hung from the gallows. Now, everyone say, ooh. I know, right? Then the king passed a law to save the lives of Queen Esther and God's people. Now, and now everyone say, woo. Yeah. Good job. All right. Then, uh, now, God used Esther to help save his people. Let's have a big round of applause for our volunteers. You guys were so good. You were so wonderful. You were so wonderful. All right, I'm going to take that from you. Let's have, let's have a big round of applause. You guys can have a seat for our Queen Esther, our King Xerxes. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you. Oh, I've got it. You guys sit down. All right. Great job, guys. You guys are wonderful. Now, that is a very, very interesting story. You never know how God's going to call on you. I mean, who knows? Maybe God placed me here for a very special Incoming reason. Message. Incoming <gasps> message. Incoming message. Finally, some action. Hello there, losers. You thought your puny wall could hold back my greatness? Oh, no. Ah, I laugh at your walls. My army has distracted the police, and now I am coming for you. Oh, no. Oh, yes. King City. You cannot escape the obliterator. Nothing can stop me now. Nothing except the Philistine! Uncle <laughs> Phil! Philistine, I thought I kicked you out. What are you doing here? Putting a stop to your madness! Uh, you don't have the power to stop me. Oh, oh man. no. I gave my heart to Jesus, and now his power lives in me. That's right. Besides, I have this. What? It can't be. It can be, and it is. Be oh, the man. plutonium heart. It's new and improved. You forget, Philistine, that I have the reverse wisdom cube. Oh, yeah. Well, that would explain your lack of wisdom. Oh, oh no, one. you didn't. You bring on some of that snooty attitude. It's already been brought in. Oh, oh no, Uncle <laughs> Phil. Don't be so <laughs> sassy. <laughs> I got you right where I want you, Philistine. Help me. He's too strong. What can I do? I can't hold him. Hit the button. What? Hit the button. What? I installed a large red button in the lab. Oh. And it will send shockwaves all up and down the wall. But that might risk the plutonium heart exploding. I, I know that's a chance I have to take. Okay. Perhaps... I have come to the kingdom for such a time as this. Oh, I've heard that before. Stop talking to the camera and prepare to be obliterated. Hit the button! Okay! Now. I'll hit it! Uh, give me that heart, Agravia! Uh, you will never get my heart! Oh no! Oh no! Stay on your side of the wall! Uncle Phil! I'll be back! Oh. oh no! Oh man! Uncle Phil risked his life for the sake of King City, just like brave Queen Esther. He put he put the bravery, he put the needs of others before his own needs. Wow! I've got to get to the wall to make sure he's alright. I'll see you all next week, kids. I give everything to honor our king! Mm -hmm.